shake your booties for black girl nerd. You know, we're always told as children we should grow up and look at more mature things, but we still love these epic tales of lords and elves and fairies. Why do you think, like with The Witcher, why are we still connected to those type of tales? Well, just because it involves gnomes and dwarves and elves and monsters or magic or whatever it may be doesn't mean it's not grown up. Mm -hmm. uh, the I have often found, if not always, in the fantasy genre and the books that I've read, they are always reflecting very <coughs> real world issues or, if not that, then personal growth. Mm -hmm. All the characters go through a certain amount of personal growth in these mm -hmm. things. And for me, it's always fascinated me to, to, to read this and take examples from these characters because they live in extreme circumstances, which I may never face. And so to see the kind of growth they go through or the perception of growth through the author is something which I can draw from. And I imagine that's why we like these things, because they reflect certain parts of our personality, which we can draw from, we can see someone else go through, and therefore we can learn about. When we look at uh, your character, Gerald, and his travels, he's there to be a monster killer, but he seems to have moments of, of having heart. How would you describe him? I would describe him as someone who has a stony exterior, but that's a protective shell. That's almost like his head drawing a picture of who he should be. Mm -hmm. But on the inside, his heart is saying something very, very different. He still believes in a better world. He still believes in things like love and, and protecting the innocent. But it's always in conflict with how the world has treated him and how he's been told is the only way to survive. And it's, that's what makes the character special, is that despite this belief, despite how the world treats him, he's always taking a step forward, or at least trying to, in the right direction. This will likely spawn a lot of people who are into cosplay and costuming and all those type of things. What are the essential things that a person will need to be a good witcher if they want to, besides the blonde hair, what would be the essential quality, the things they'll need for a good cosplay? Uh, for a good cosplay as Geralt? Yeah. Um, hmm. Okay, the easy one. Mm -hmm. uh, good trousers, which, which match the costume, which is probably the easiest way to go, mm -hmm. and a cool black shirt. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's also the cosplay for the games, but if we're doing the show cosplay, black trousers, black shirt, that's the best way to go with a cool pair of boots. And mm -hmm. I don't know if you can carry even fake swords around, but one of those as well. Oh, I think those will yeah. work out good. Otherwise, it starts getting expensive. You start going to the armor portion of it and everything, and that can be tricky. Did you keep anything? I did. I Would kept all of it. Better shake your booties for black girl nerds.